brother from another mother, how are you doing this evening, sir? It is a day. It's a day, isn't it? I mean, bong grips everybody off the top because John was on mute. Yeah, right off rip. I was on mute. That's correct. Yeah. I, I really just have one question for chat before we get into to Oku. I, I, I saw Max in there, and he said uh, he said that he had drank a ridiculous amount of coffee, and I'd like to know what that number is because I feel like we have a different – I think we have a different balance on that but but tonight i'm excited for michael oku we've been talking about him for quite a while i have not seen him yet either so i am with five that was a rookie numbers you got to get those up max uh i have i've been waiting and anticipation for this spotlight for a little while we've had him on our list for a bit and uh you've hyped him up pretty good i'm excited for it i hope everybody in chat is too i think uh let me give you a little bit of background so uh, Oku has really only been in the business for five or six years, maybe 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 seven. Uh, uh, he is uh, known as the king of the one-legged crab, the single-leg Boston crab. And when I, I saw, see, yeah, man, was, I saw in that intro package some of those were deep. So <laughs> you, John, you have seen Michael Oku before because he was, and we'll see him again uh, on this show as a part of that tag team with Connor Mills. They took on the Young Guns okay. that we uh, fell in love with. Uh, I think it was the Young Guns that they took on. Uh, I could be totally wrong there, too, by the way. But I feel like you've, we've no, seen... No, I think you're right. I think you've seen him before, but it just didn't ta- we've seen him in tag. Uh, I'm telling you, uh, it is not a matter of if, it's a matter of when uh, Oku decides to to sign his name on the dotted line somewhere. Uh, and as we're going to see tonight, if you've never seen him before, shame on you. Because, actually, no. No shame on you. That's why we're here. That's, that's exactly why we're here. I'm going to introduce you to one of the, the great professional wrestlers coming out of the UK right now. Uh, our first match, man. I'm so pumped and ready to go because some of the stuff I have I've not seen. This this from 2019. It's from Dude, while uh, it's there. His camera's just zoomed in in, a, in an angle that doesn't show it. It's there. I promise. Oh wait, hold. there you go. There you go. All right. Yeah, we got the red shot out. Here we go. Yeah, yep. red shots. Uh, now we're officially a... ready for an indie show. Here we go. I have to. I constantly look at my mic audio too because it just bumps up and down like it's going out of style. Uh, 19, sorry, Jesus Christ. 2019 <laughs> is the year that we're going to start. I believe this is from International Wrestling Network. Uh, this is Ben Bads- Bazden, excuse me, versus the OJMO. Michael Oku. Let's go ahead and get started in three. Two, one, play. I'm so fucking pumped for this. Just shoving his face away, that's rude. The first couple of matches on the show are gonna be early night or you know, early in his career in twenty nineteen. Um, which is this you know, early incarnations, right? Um, I'll go ahead and give you the run, John. Here's what we're going to see tonight, guys and gals in the chat. Uh-oh, I hit a button. There we go. It's back. Uh-oh. Uh, yep, it's okay. We're back. Uh, we got this match against Ben Baston. We're going to see Michael Oku taking on a guy named uh, Colum Newman, is uh, someone else I'm not familiar with. Um, this right here should be like a fucking fire, uh, fatal four-way. Man like, uh, Desiree versus Oku versus Connor Mills versus Omari. Uh, I'm really looking forward right. to seeing man like Darius. I hope I pronounced your name correctly. Uh, how about this? Tag team action. Uh, destination everywhere. Is Oku and Connor Mills. They're going to be taking on Aussie Open on our show tonight. All right. We're going to the see. The lighting is wild. And Max, you're right. It reminds me exactly of the first place you play a guitar hero. It does. 
we will see uh, a gentleman by the name of Buffalo Soldier, who I've done a little bit of research on. Uh, he's going to be taking on Oku. Our last two matches of the show are bound to be bangers. If I mean, listen, if you don't sit through this program to get to these last two, look at that. Nice oh, right there. Um, Dude, there's been so many things going on while you've been talking about the show run. Yeah, I know. Let me get through this, and then we'll, we'll get into the That's match it. and get to why we're here. Uh, Oku taking on Pac, the bastard Pac. Uh, and we'll end it with uh, Oku and Mike Bailey. John, let's get into this match because we have missed a lot while I've been yakking about what we're going to see. Here. There, yeah, I, so so far, this Ben Baston guy, right? His backhand chops, that's an embarrassment. I hope that he's worked on those since then because even Oku was like, what was, did you just, what was that? <laughs> I was hoping, John, you know how we, how we roll here. When we're spotlighting, uh, you know, bigger name, uh, independent guys, like we're looking, I'm looking also for, uh, Who's next? Who can we spotlight next? Who's going to show us something? Oh, who are these massive hammer fists on the yeah. spine? Uh, Rolls yeah, he, up the front chancery. And he said, that's how you hit. That's, that's exactly what was going on right there. That looked like a that looked like an old school receipt. It was like, oh, you're going you're gonna to hit me soft, huh? Okay. <laughs> John, they're saying your audio has an echo uh, in chat. Awesome. I, don't, I don't hear it on my side. We'll see about it. Oh. Basting knows how to throw a All kick right. to the thigh, though. Oh. John, I literally hung right. up on a call discussing uh, uncivil war right before we took the air. Have <laughs> been fabulous. Right, so that was a forty-five minute conversation. I have no doubt. Basden here trying to to plant down the fingertips, applying leverage to the elbow there. Oh, but he gets kicked in the mouth for his bullshit. Yeah, he does. A couple That's of thigh kicks to follow access. in, and a big club to the spine. It's, it's funny you mentioned Skrilla because we'll be, we'll, we will be speaking with him. Uh, we'll be having our conversation tomorrow night with Skrilla to come out on a future future release. Uh, don't, you do not want to miss Katie Trey tomorrow. That's an interview that's uh, that's a must listen. Yeah, that was a great interview. Disrespectful kick to the face there. Bazden is not being aggressive. He's being cocky, but he's not being aggressive. I feel like that's going to cost him. Oh. Listen, you want an open hand slap? Let me, let me, oh my God. Nope, wearing, those are elbows, sir. <laughs> nope, nope, he's wearing his ass out right now. Well. Duck under by Oki right there. Times two. Oh. Caught him with a running clothesline. Looked like Bazden was a little bit out of position there. You know, I'm, so these younger guys, you know, we always see them early in their career. They've got these very light, very built frames, but they just don't have the weight packed on. Um, I'm interested to see as his career goes on if he bulks at all or if he stays really small like this. I think that the the little guys get a bad rap a lot for not being able to do things that other wrestlers can do, but there's such a repertoire for a little guy inside the ropes oh, that if you learn how to do, yeah, like if you learn how to work those big man matches, those are often very fire. I love a David and Goliath match. Yeah, we talked about Especially that. Especially when it's uh, done well. 
Oh, we talked about that with Frankie. Uh, yeah. I think now, like, you know, back in, in the, the 80s and into the 90s, there's a big man's game. Oh, look at the submission here by Baston. Oh! Oh, Torque. He's got that, that Rick. Yeah, that wrist is just twerked over, and he is getting a hell of a, a torsion on that shoulder. Oku's fighting it, though. Oh, no, he's got it locked, locked back down at the wrist. Oh, oh. He's, he's got those that, fingers. He's going to have to swing that leg around. And he gets it. Yes, he does. That did damage, though. Oh, That yeah, is it did. really going to mess his shoulder up. That almost looked like a shoot hold if there ever was, right? I mean, that was pretty close. But, again, this is in Europe, and the, the English crowds, they have a, a really strong tradition for that. So a lot of their workers look like they're doing shoot work. What a oh. knee. Yeah. Damn. Somebody clipped that. I like that. Mazen catches him on top here. Sloppy elbow to the back. Gets caught with a couple of gut shots. Big headbutt. Oh, yeah. Sends him down. You're about a second or two ahead of me, but that's okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What are you thinking, Oku? Frog splash on the fucking money. Yeah, but that hurt him, too. Yep, that shoulder. That I shoulder. Love cell. Yeah. I love the cell. Well fucking done. Well, is it a sell or did he get popped? That's the question. I mean, make sure Red Shaw's present for Dubois. Oh, he's got him in an arm breaker here. Oh, that's it. He taps. Baston picked up the submission win. A little surprise there. Ah, uh, you and me both. I mean, that shoulder and arm, that elbow though. He did do, he did massive work on that. All right. Oh, that didn't age well. Which one? The what he just said to the camera. Oh, I didn't see that part. All right, let's get into uh, match number two. Uh, Riot Cabaret Pro Wrestling is where this video is coming to us from. So I'm going to need for y'all to go and hit the subscribe button over there because it's free. Uh, it costs you nothing, and I'm going to do it myself right now. Uh, let's get started, John. Uh, three, two, one, play. He's in February. He's just come back from another... Successful American oh. Oh. oh yeah, man, we're hot right off the bat. Massive shoulder block here by Newman. This kid's pace is crazy. Oh, that caught Oku by surprise. That face, yeah, look at him. Somehow into the stalemate, but we're straight to the second. I feel like Callum. Oh, he just drop kicked him out of mid air. Even with CPF, Callum Newman just looking in the confidence. This is what I noticed from Callum Newman. From the moment he steps out of here at the moment, you can just see the confidence. He knows he's going to come out. Wow. It's like watching a wrestling show in double speed. Oh, he's going over. Newman over the top. Oh, 
Cross body sends him to the floor. Remember, this is a number one contender's match. <coughs> this is only the second time in their careers that Michael Oka and Callum Newman have faced each other one on one. Newman sho shoves him back into the ring under the rope. Weighing on the mind of the Prince of Pace as he tries to correct that record here. Uh, yeah, just a one count there. He, yeah. he needs to put in some work. Was... The leverage on that choke. Yep. This kid, dude, what? We need to write his name down. I need to get my notepad. CPF are yet to win a match in Riot Cabaret. Driving the knee right into Oku's back. They still have got a W in the win loss. However, they're still one of the most loved acts. Yeah, Max, these guys are crazy fast. You know, you don't you don't pay bills with love. No. You don't get bookings in Japan, the USA. On love, oh. all about wins and losses. Oh, look, Newman will tell you in the previous matches, <coughs> team situation. This is the first time he's been carrying the load for CPF. Oh, you better watch out, own. Dubois. John no, takes liberty. Into that elbow. John takes liberty to anybody who calls themselves a beast. So just be careful. Uh, no, I 100% agree that with Dubois, Enigma is a beast. Oh, he missile drop kick by uh, Oku right there. Desperation almost. He has got to get some offense. This Callum kid is fast. This is why I like doing these spotlights, man. I'm telling you, like, I know based on what I've seen from Oku over the last year or so of uh, our adventures on my channels that he's solid, like rock solid. And seeing some of these guys like like Cal Newman here as an example, like, this is, this is just perfect. It's... Exposes me to people that I've never seen before, and I may not have seen had I not. Look at that spike! Fucking, fucking great DDT. exchange into that spike DDT. Yes, it was fucking great. They're so crisp. Great moonsault lands it. Michael Oku and Robbie X arguably stole the show against Vultures against the Machine. Is Michael Oku going to do this two shows in a row? Back to back show stealers. It's looking that way at the moment. Did I announce to the chat that we we got a confirmation? I saw earlier, I forget who mentioned uh, Skrilla and uh, Nahaja. It, it is not, Max. It is not upped at all. We are watching it in live time, and it is ridiculous. No, yeah, no, it's not. Oh my god. Oh! Didn't see that in the first match. I will never, ever. Not even kind of. Um, I think it was Max. You mentioned Naja earlier. I uh, got a confirmation from him this week. We'll be talking to him in March. That's a thing. That happened fast. I was real happy about that. Who, Naja? Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Oh, bro. I, I'll screen cap you the message you sent to me. He is so excited. It's unreal. Good. Me too, so we'll share it. It'll That's be great. exactly what I told him, too. It's like, don't, <laughs> we're all there. We're, we're right there with you, bro. Oku taking way too much time. He is. I hope, this, I hope he doesn't pay for it here. Oh, he's going oh, to. He yeah. Oh, no. Nope, nope. Nope. But he Roll caught through. it. Oh! 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 Enormous boot to the Collect that. Here comes Newman. Oh! Oh, oh God right dang. between the shoulder blades. Newman! Once Newman doing up. damage over here! The Prince of Pace! Up on the top floor! They call him the Prince of Pace? Newman. Dude, that is fitting as shit. Oh, oh the knees! Oh, he eats the knees! Let's go, Oku, let's go! And now Oku with another chance! Oku back up top! Five star! Oh! From no! no. Gotta take a breath! Holy but Newman's fucking not prepared shit. To, to capitalize at all. What a match. Yeah, this is great. The max, yeah. Remember, as I said, Newman's never beat Noku one on one. Is this the night he'll do it? He looked like he was building up a little bit momentum. Newman's never beaten Noku one on one, but they have fought before. Yeah, they said That's earlier on commentary this is their second meeting. And apparently this is some kind of number one contenders match as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Oh. You get those ribs, Oku. Go ahead. But be prepared. He's about to get yours. Yep. Here it comes. We're about to trade rib shots. Mm. That's <laughs> Yeah, you gotta tenderize before you cook, dude. Well, that's correct. I think if memory serves, John, I, rem I, I don't know how true this is, and if I'm if I'm speaking out of place, I do apologize. When Oku decided to become a professional wrestler, I think he was working in the restaurant industry. Super kick, he walked right into that. He and sure did. He ate the shit out of that soul. Oh, uh oh, oh, springboard, springboard clothesline. Mm, just a two. Oh, so close. Uh oh. Nope. Nope. Counter. Push off. Blue on the head of Oku. On the canvas, and Oku still kicks out. Two count only. I thought that was gonna be it. Newman, you are wasting your time and playing. Don't do that. Oh, counters into the rope. Springs off. Oh. Drops him again. Oh. Is that enough for Newman? Massive pump handle there. Newman, no. It's not, not done. He's not going for the cover. Surely he's up on the top. Did fancy the pin, looking for the, maybe for the shooter. Callum Newman. Shooting oh. star. Oh, he got it. Gets it. Perfect. Big so shooting star. The pin to become the number oh. one contender. But Kicks out. out. So close. Just a two. Newman putting in. What a, what a absolute I need performance for them to stop here. Newman's straight emotions. frustrated. <laughs> how are these guys? Wow. This I is mean, it's me fucking this is wow. Who is ready for world championships? On the brink of greatness, perhaps, and he might be even closer to it if he lands this. The Prince of Pace! Oh, nope. No, no. But Fito. catches himself. From Newman, great agility, mid flight. Catches Oku here. Oku! Poison Rana! Oh shit! From Oku. Scorpion Rana over the back end. Here we go. Newman finally hit the shooting star. Oku will finally hit. <laughs> Gets star. him. Five star. Splash. Oku! Oh. No, no, no. No. We oh, just got him. Shoulder rolled up, but hang on. Oh, here it comes. Uh oh. Crab time. Single leg. Half crab. King of the half crab. Oku's gonna force Newman to tap out. He might tap in. He is way deep, but his le but his his leverage is in the wrong place. If he could lean more in and pull, yeah, there he goes. Here is your winner. What a match! Jesus Christ! That was what a great. match! I'm very interested in this Callum, Callum Newman guy. Very. I'd like to see him in a match with Speedball or Zack Sabre. Like, the pace of that would be insane. I, I, I still am processing what the fuck I just watched. And what a performance from it, that was that you watched good. a clinic on how to be so a cannonball. Be that was a, that was incredible. That was an incredible, incredible match. Yeah, Max, exactly. That was exactly how you make high flying feel like a real fight. Yes, one hundred percent. In the future. Uh, well, I respect. That was great. Oh man. I have to catch my breath off of that. That was that was that good. And put the pause on that. Oh my god. I feel like this is about to be another fucking banger. Uh man like uh John, can you pronounce this for me so I don't botch it? Because I feel like I'm I've botched it twice and I I'm probably to gonna botch it also, but I believe it's man like Darice. Darice. Okay, we'll say we'll we'll go with that because it's easier for me to pronounce. Man like Darice versus Oku versus his you know, tag team partner uh, as a part of uh, uh, with Connor Mills. Uh, fuck, I, gener I forgot. I, it slipped. I'm high. Uh, and uh, Omari. So this is Fight Club Pro. It's Wrestle House Twenty. It's brought to us by MLD Dash TV. 
Uh, let's go ahead and give them a subscribe right now on stream. Um, John, you ready? Let's go in three, two, yep. one, play. It's a way to make their debut. Like previously announced by Slick Lombardo, unfortunately Travis Banks cannot compete tonight due to injury. But what this does, this gives an opportunity for another Fight Club Pro Dojo graduate in the shape of a man like Darice. And what a that man okay. has the reaction. Correct. I have goosebumps and could not stop I have smiling. But guess what? It's near enough a two on one situation here against Destination Everywhere. OJ Mo and Connor Mills. Destination Connor Everywhere. Mills, one of my favorite rising stars in the United Kingdom currently. Double sent switch straight back into each other. Here's the Reese's chance to make his debut. Can nice. Of course, did appear in a young man's tournament in August. Oh, look at the speed of Darius and the footwork there. The, yeah, that was that's classy. I like the direction change. Nip up a drop kick is so fast I'm losing my words here, friends. I know what a year that this young man has had in 2019. He's competed all up and down the country with our friends at Attack Wrestling and even made an appearance at NXT UK. And this man is a firecracker, let me tell you. Oh. Sidestep on Mills. Black Thunderbomb. That's what he calls it. Cover kick out at two. And this is a match that we did not have scheduled for tonight. You have to think how this will play a factor in the thinking and psyche of Mills and the OJ. Slides down the they back, standing switch. Attack match and they're to compete against one another. Off the rope. Excellent moonsault press there. Escape the waist lock of Doris. Connor Mills, one of the hardest hitters in the United Kingdom. Currently now coming off a win at the first ever MC Bingo Mania tournament at mm. Pro Wrestling. Through the ropes and then bust him right in the face of that elbow. Springboard clothesline. Chasing for the cover, but can't get it wisely. The reach rolls out, but Mills still trying for that cover. He's a smart wrestler. So enticing Amari into the ring. Amari to get in. He's trying to entice somebody into the ring. He's like, can somebody come in here and fight me? Amari's in. Ingenuity, nipple up by Amari. Oh my God. And Amari, another graduate of the fight. Oh. Oh. Big cross body. Nice cross body. He laid out for that. Yeah, he did. He splayed all the way into the air. Interesting. <laughs> we talk about this is certainly a thing for Fight Club Pro Dojo. And Amari is certainly one of the biggest names to come out of this. A former Infinity uh -oh. No, catches him. Four way match. Pop over. Catches him. Oh, uses the OJMO like a little weapon DDT. Oh, oh nice. Oh, into the DDT. That's a little innovative right there. And the only two fit men left in the ring now, Shades, we can see is the OJMO and, and Connor Mills. Are they gonna are they gonna trade blows here? Oh the top Oh shit. Drew's double drop kicks pops them both in the face. Yeah, he landed a little rough there too though. Therese is impressive. And again. Oh. Oh. Over. Back roll. Connor Mills over. Catches. Double Shotgun drop kick. Sends one. Sends right Mills into, into the Oku. Yeah. Sends him back into the corner. Therese definitely in control of the ring right here. Spins out. European up. Strong lift. Oh. He eats that European right in the mouth. Walks into the boot. Gonzo Curry to OJ Mo there. Step flips off. Double blockbuster. Double blockbuster. Dude, did you see? Oh shit! Oku fly over the top rope. Dude. And the only man left on his feet is Matt Darius is on Darice. fire here. He is. He's the standout in this right now for me. Well, oh, drop kick by Oku sends him off the apron. This might be the turnaround where they get back into Mills and, and Oku, which those two guys uh, had tremendous matches together uh, in Rev Pro. Like, fucking insane. Oh. We've seen this before. Moon Sol catches him and the Fosbury flop to his feet. They both go over the rope plunges. Perfectly right there. And both for destination everywhere, taking down both fighters out of the Fight Club Pro Dojo. Both men now in the ring. This is 
is what we've been leading up to. Look at that fighting stance from Connor Mills. Oh my god. I'm gonna oh. traded with this man before. Big you right by Mills, big elbow. European. Oh, nice chop. Two of these men here. So oh. That one's gonna hurt tomorrow. In the country. The OGMO making his debut at Fight Club last year. Mills is just lighting him up. Oh. Nope, single leg. Nope, single leg. Tries to roll him. Nope. Connor Mills knows exactly what the OJMO was going for there. have each other so well scouted, but here comes that long leg of Amari. Oh. Oh, Amari with a leg larry on both of them. Is without a doubt one of the most athletically gifted and then to Derice catches as Derice well. in the gut. Did you see the distance he got on that? Oh shit! Oh, suplex. That's impressive. Straight. Yeah, he just had him up oh. in the air. <clears throat> right in, right into Oku. Oh god. Reverse Alabama slam off. Oh shit. Everyone what the fuck? The pulls him off. <laughs> <Darice> <laughs> yokes him off. Gasping this shit end. is in dude. On the face of man like Darice and the crowd here uh, appreciative of all four of these men's This effort. is fucking insane. I love this show. There, Jesus. There's too much Sorry. shit to call. Mills, Mills trying to just pound his foot to get loose and does with a big spin kick. Darius ducks him. Oof. Oh, Oku got him. There's that knee strike. I love that. That knee, that knee is pretty. That is a great running knee. Darius is out in two. I think this is it. We're going for the crab. Uh -uh. Tight. Nope. Tight, Small package. Step up in Zaguri. Duck under from Mills. Another step up in Zaguri. Are we gonna? Are we gonna give a trifecta here? No. Uh, he's already got. Uh, he's already got Amari with one. That is three. Oh shit! Nice oh. by Mills. Up to second, all the way up to the top rope. Oh, 450 miss rolls through. The OJMO and Connor Mills both in the same corner here. Oh, catches him with another John Wu. Oh, Mills Gee, left Oku in the corner to eat that. Sacrificing the OJMO for his own game. Oh, blue. Oh. Um, my mistake, Orange Crush there. Amari, oh, barely breaks it up. Sniff <sighs> up there. I can barely keep track of what's Okay, the fuck, dude. Oh, oh Cutter. Uh, Dude, the sell by Oku on that. There we go. Big knee from man like the Reese. Big knee. Bends him over. Oh shit! Oh! Amari just power bombed Oku onto Darice to break the pin. What the fuck are we watching? This is nuts. What the fuck? We've got to watch more Fight Club Pro. Make it happen. And let me tell you, I've been trained with both these men, and taking that leg, Lara Amari hits that extremely hard. Oh, there it is! Oh, he got it! He got it, dude! I can tell you that much. He's got that in deep. Connor Mills. Oh, Mills! Oh, Mills takes out his partner. Dude, that setup for that grab was gross. Oh! Mills is oh, out. Both of them. Big splash on both. That setup in to roll into that crab where he kicked over. Oh, uh, shit. He kicked over that. God. These guys are insane. Sintrosi, welcome to the show. You got here just in time, dude. This match is fire. I is, it is nuts. This show is fucking Four great. 450 splash. splash onto Oku. Oh. That got it. And that's the win. Yeah. Good God. <laughs> For fuck's sakes. And 
And that is one way to make your Wrestle House debut. Man like the Bro, I seriously think this is the best shit. independent spotlight we've done so far. These, this is, this is great. Yes, it was a four-way free-for-all, yeah. And it was absolutely insane. Man like Darice comes out on top. I, I'm impressed with all four of these guys in this match. I definitely want to see some more Amari. Uh, I, I, this left me wanting more. And that's a testament to all four of those guys and what they just did right there. What a fucking match. And if, you know, like this, there's no down on this roller coaster because we're, we're only going to move up as destination everywhere, which is uh, Connor Mills. We just saw him in singles in that four way, uh, Connor Mills and Oku together. I mean, goddamn, get ready. Uh, and taking on Aussie open. This is from rev pro, uh, Buckle up, guys, because this is going to be a, a wild ride. Are you ready, sir? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one, play. I'm going to step away real quick. I'll be right back. Well, that's the most honest answer I can give you, sir. I wasn't ready for that four-way. All right, we got Kill uh, Mills and David in here. Singles competition, Mark Davis was able to defeat Michael Oku, but Mills just getting powered through by this guy. Yeah, he's just using he's got great technique, but he's just using his strength as a fucking tool. And again, this is really another battle which is built on respect when it comes to destination everywhere. And that wrist lock is not going anywhere. Ranking the arm out, pushing the elbow in. Oh. at the start of the Great British Tag League there was so much speculation about the relationship between Connor Mills and Michael Oku. Mills finally counters out of that wrist lock but really all Connor Mills has proven to be to Michael Oku is a very good friend and many people speculate Michael Oku may not have won no game. again that strength He's just stops him dead in his tracks Mills yokes his arm in for an arm bar gets the foot to the rope though Mills is in danger and there's a huge strike Mills. Davis walks into the elbow and the boot. Goes for, I think he was going for a blockbuster, but caught the arm with the arm drag. Gets the. Oh. It's a big drop kick and a forearm to the spine. Not even a one count there. Oh! Davis backs him into the wrong corner and gets the tag in. He works hard. There's very few harder workers in the gym than Connor Mills. And he's got that temperament of a fighter. That temperament Jesus. of a warrior. There's a tag into Michael Oku. The it's second time we see him Oku comes in. Getting out of the ring. Taking himself out of danger. He's like a true so hero. He can't for anyone who's trying to keep count at home. He's just trying to be a jerk. Here we go. Kyle Fletcher staring down at... Dude, Centro, the the indie stuff is insane. This is a British-based uh, company. Shoves Oku into the ropes. Big shoulder block. Sends him right to his ass. Wasting time, though. Wasting way too much time. Oku goes over. We get shoves in. Catches the belly to redirect. Oh, Big Hurricane Rana. From a cruiserweight champ. And one half of the British tag team champions. Great agility. Up on the corner. Big drop kick. Sends him across the ring. We've got, we've got Mills tagged back in. Double back elbows. 
Rolls him through. Wheelbarrow face buster. Far too much leniency as these losers keep going. Drops Oku. I forgot who was the legal man there for a second. everywhere to try and keep Kyle Fletcher isolated in the ring and try and keep Dunkzilla Mark Davis's big counters through away from blind tag there yeah, oh back so elbows oh goodness oh, oh. oh dude wow slingshotted Michael Oku in the ring who yeah. wasn't expecting that and face first Goes Mills. There's a cover. Look at the leg. Mills just, just flew like out. 10 feet in the air. Over this the dude Davis is a monster. Over the last few shows, we've seen how dangerous Carl Fletcher is on his own. So nothing taken away from him whatsoever. But Mark Davis is just a bear. Christ, how do you fight that? Locks the leg. Locks the arm over. Twisting. Gets no left. Just neck. cranks the neck Short across neck sideways. He's going to snap his damn neck. Oh. That Davis guy, we talked in the first match about the guy not being aggressive. That dude right there in the corner, that monster bear over there, that guy <laughs> is aggression. Like, if aggression was a person, Davis is the guy. <laughs> Jesus, what this is? I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I had to step away because I needed to catch my breath. I'm telling you, these li I listen. This, this Davis guy. This Davis guy is an absolute monster. All right, let's see. Oh, misses the elbow. Oku with that leg kick. Drilling him. Yeah, he is in the ring with an absolute killer. Oh. 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 Mills and Oku both get the kicks in. Snaps him over the Hurricane Rana. Mills makes a tag. Moonsault. Oh. Oh. Davis powders. Look, I gotta say, when he got him with just now, when he took that, when Davis took that move, the the bump he took off of that was phenomenal. Oh, into the oh, this is no good. At all. Oh, back to back. This is Jesus. I mean, we have well, Buffalo Soldier next. We have the Bastard Pot coming up. And we've got him in the ring with Mike Bailey. Okay, Jesus. Well, I think I'm going to have a heart attack for the show. No Davis shoves Oku back in the corner. Launches his part. Oh, nope. Reverses. Oh, big forearm. Big boot. Oh. 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 He just folded Oku in half of that. It was a kick out from Oku, but Standing short arm just folded Oku in half. You got a two count here. Just keep whacking him as hard as you can, Dunkzilla. Jesus. Love it. Why I'm saying, this, have gone on the this guy's, okay. this, he's money. This, so this whole like situation is money. Ref Pro. The North cells have wrestling. been great too. Like they this whole printing, thing has been really they good. Be printing money. This is. And you're smiling and loving life. Oh, not doing um. This hey, North, North Wrestling. Who who are we showcasing you? I take a certain uh, he wrestles with North Wrestling. He's got a match with the uh, Leon Slater coming up. Okay. In chat. Hey, North Wrestling. Uh, North Wrestling is in chat. Welcome to the show. Uh, we are taking a look at Michael Oku tonight and enjoying every minute of it right now. 
No! And it's absolutely no problem. Uh, this is exactly why we're here. It's why our channels exist. Uh, it, we would be more than happy to spotlight any talents that you've got over there. Uh, shoot me a DM. Let me know what you got going on. And we will be more than happy to do more, more programming based around some of the talents you have happening over there. Uh, Leon Slater is actually who we're doing next week. So that'll be a, a bigger, bigger showcase for North Wrestling. Oku looks like he's bleeding from the mouth and Davis is back in the ring. This cannot be good for Oku. At all. Short on forearm right into the gut there. Oh. Oh, the sound of that. Just driving the knees into his chest. Ref's warning him. He's like, man, this isn't a pin attempt. This is a mugging. Yeah, we've enjoyed everything from Rev Pro so far. Oku makes it to the ropes desperately. Tag made here. Oku needs to find Oku's a way to gotta get, get a tag. Yeah, he's, he's gotta. Oh, Mills man. fell right into it, yeah. came in. Perfect psychology right here. Oh no, and Davis is on the outside. Oh. He's coming around. Oh yeah, he is. He's sneaking. Oku uh -oh. sees what's going on though. Nope. Oku's Roll up. Advantage. Oh, so close. Davis. Oof. Oku just ate that. And then he demolished Mills with that open hand. Jesus. Good God. The product over in the UK is fucking crazy. It's so stiff and I love it. I do too. I wish I, that, that's where I need to be. That's exactly where I need to be. Oh, walks into the boot by Oku. Showing a little bit of life. Get a couple of elbows on Davis. Gotta fight his way out of that corner and get a tag. Oh, wait. There's no one to tag. Because Mills is fucked. Yep, he fell into that trap. Yeah, he's on oh. the apron, but he's not. Oh! Here we go. Missile he's going to get that tag. There right it is. The All right, let's see what Connor can do here. Gets the drop kick on Davis on the outside. Back to the forearms. Nice correction. He slipped on the ropes and now they deflect allowed Fletcher to move out of the way. But Mills connects with a big boot and follows up with a forearm. A big shot. All right, what we got, what we got? Nice big boot. Oh, that kick landed right on the fucking money. Oh. Stops himself in the corner, up and outside. Oh, Mills is in the wrong place. Oh, oh, there's a little bit of payback for that layout earlier. Connects with a springboard European. Just for two. He had some good hang time on that. Dude, he does. It's like he's floating. Towards the end of February last year. Wouldn't it be wonderful to see that again? Connor Mills has said the lockdown has put so much into perspective. COVID has put so much in perspective. Hooks him up. Too short, and he no. knows who his real friends are. And one of his real that. friends is Michael Oku. And he will do everything Mills holding on. to defend him and defend their British Tag Team Championships. As Connor Mills is now getting... Big right hands just all over the place in a flurry. Sending him off. Oh, Mills fights. Oh, Mills just teeing off on him. Walked into that super Oh, kick. walks right into the super oh, kick. Oh, comes back with a lariat. Look at both legs. Oh, no. Carl Fletcher keeps I almost caught shenanigans. 
I almost called shenanigans too. He walked into that super kick solid. No, oh, yeah, Citrosi. The the European market in the Indies is insane. Nope. Fletcher gets it off. Over. No, land all three. No. Oh. It's another super kick. Hooks him up, right? Oh, that was sick. Just a two up on that brain buster is insane. Undisputed British tag team champions, and Kyle Fletcher realizes it. Calls a good aim, mate, to everyone watching in Australia because your tag team championships are on the line right now, and at the moment they're looking quite safe in the hands of Fletcher and Davis. That is a single most stereotypical and disrespectful thing oh. I've ever heard you hey, say. Oh, no, nope. slides down, it's small package. You can only get a two count. Oh, 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 so smart. Fletcher just eats both boots. But, oh, 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 Davis in. The bear is back. Oh, oh, oh. airplane oh. spin into the cutter oh. off the top. Stop Still kicks out. My emotions. And Kyle Fletcher can't believe it, but you know what, Gideon? I can because I saw Mills and Oku go to absolute war. And I mean it. Whoa. Oh! My God. Oh! Into the corner. The he just lawn darted him into the middle turnbuckle. Oh shit! Oh! And Mills still has a wherewithal to counter into the spine kick, but neither man can make it to a corner for a tag right now. They are in desperate need. Oku trying to wheel Mills on. What a battle. Whoo! Max, I think you're right. I think this is the best spotlight we've ever had. This is insane. Like this is even better than the than the Saber spotlight. This this is this has been great. Yeah, Fletcher and Davis are not are not happy about not having put this away already. I mean, you're in there with the OJ, MO, and Connor Mills. You, this is not going to be a, a cakewalk, bro. Oh! No. I love it. I love it. I love it. Not backing down. No oh, no! Oh! Let's go. Single leg that motherfucker. Nope, pushes him off, roll through. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Gator roll into, oh god. Oh, he lands on his feet. Nope. It's the ropes. He went for the. Oh, not that time. Massive elbow. Just a two. Good God. Yeah, no, no sleeping for this one, Max. That is correct. Hell, I'm afraid to close my eyes, I'll miss a whole fucking match. The pace that these guys are working. Oh, counter by Oku. Oh, what a counter by Oku. Off the back. Super kick. Big super kick. Gets the tag into Mills. In Seguri. Both of them setting up. Wow! Oh. Hook of the leg. Oh. Two count. Just, Just a two. A two. Oh my God. Good God. Just a look of determination. Tag. I'm continuing this thing. I'm still going, and they're looking for a doomsday device, perhaps. Oh, oh it was an elbow oh. drop. That wasn't a typical doomsday look device. The no oh, Davis, the big bear. Davis, Davis breaks the cover. God, what, what talent! Like just the talent we have seen. For anyone who is in any doubt, British wrestling is back. 
Goddamn right it is. You can say that yeah. again. The best competitors in the world are duking it out with both Australia. Davis is clubbing Mills. Dude, those backhand chops by Davis are devastating. Oh, big shots here from the team. Taking turns on kicks here. Davis is just soaking him in. Catches the leg. Catches nope, the leg. catches oh. one. Catch didn't know who's leg to keep hold of. Oh, oh. Double super kick. Double super kick. Davis is about to fold. <laughs> but Fletcher's. Oh no! Up on the shoulders. Big. Oh, caught. Caught it. Nice counter. Uses Fletch. Oh, fuck. He ducks out that kick attempt. That trade in waist lock. Back elbow from Mills. He charges. Oh, shit. Oh. Davis just plants him. <laughs> oh, gets the DDT. I, I can't. <laughs> this is too much to call. Pop up power bomb. Rolls him through. Oh. Sit out. Mills backs in. Off the rope. Eats that elbow. And the super kick. Oh. Mm. Jesus. I have no idea who's legal. Oh. Oh, Scorpion Rana. What? What else? What else can we see here? Oh my God! This is absolutely. This is the crowd. The crowd says it all. This is awesome. Yeah, no, no shit, guys. You are spot the fuck on. I think my goosebumps have got goosebumps. Yo, when we watched them take on those other dudes in the last show, they did not get anywhere near this much offense in that match. They had a couple of shining spots of something, but those two ginger dudes just fucked their day up. Top guns. Or young Top guns. guns. Yeah. Young guns. Young guns. Annihilated. Sorry. Young guns. The young guns. Annihilated. Oku and Mills when we saw them fight them. Left. One chop just he takes it. But this has been all match. If Davis throws that bitch, you are going to the floor. I love the fight here. The facials that, that Oku's given. He's refusing. He's like, no, 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 no. I'm gonna... Series of forearms on Dunzilla and Dunzilla. Oh Don't God. let. No, no, dude. God. Uh uh, look at him, I love it. Michael Aku saying no. There's a special atmosphere in the air tonight. There's Michael Oku refusing. Yeah, but Davis is just waiting on him. He stands in the in in the face in defiance. Both sides not stopping. Mills is draped over the apron over there. Back and forth elbows. He's about to pick him up. He's floored the giant down to one knee. Oh! Oh! oh. oh holy shit! Try for the backslide. There's no way that Davis lets him get this. Yeah, David's way too strong for that. Oh, that Larry oh. was nasty. Nasty. Oh, that hit. That hit all kinds of wrong. Oh, he lands on his feet. There's that knee. He's down. And Oku, he's feeling it. Michael Oku. Where's Fletcher? Good question. Could it be time for Michael Oku to get through? Uh oh. Oh, oh. Nope, it is not time. It's time for Oku to get his chest caved in by that monster of a man right there. Oh, 
back in the head of Michael Oku. He's in all kinds oh, shit. of right now. As the end could be nigh, the dream could be about to be over. Oh, he slips through. Oh, cracks that knee. He's been working that leg the whole match. I think if we haven't established by now that this could be the weak spot. This could be Oku's route to victory. Oh. Just snap down. Damn. Just yanked it. That's not going to be good for the knee joint. No. No, I assure you, sir, it is not. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. oh he got it. Oh, he did get it. Hurricanrano right off the top. Davis fell like a ton of bricks. I definitely don't. He's feeling it right now. Huge frog splash comes. New Australian tag team. Oh, no. Dunksilla kicked out. But look at Oku. Almost. But he's got that leg. Leg control. And can he turn the big bear over? And the answer is no. Big Bear just turned him right back over. Oh my goodness. Still so much massive kicks there. Oh, Mills off the corner. Fletcher's down on the floor on the back side. Oh, onto the knee. Ogu goes off the oh. move. The splash. Jesus. Fletcher's been taken out. Fletcher's been eliminated from the equation. Now we play. Steps over and he is seated. That is a deep single leg crab. Oh, can he get to the right? Oh, look. No, he's pulling him towards the rope. Mills is like holding him up. The ref's like, I don't know what the hell to do about that. Here's Fletcher. Oh no. Oh. No, just a two. Just a two. Dude, Fletcher is getting the worst oh. end of the stick here. He's got him in the center. Oh. Oh. That was mean. He's still folded over it. That was not. Uh, oh, God. Nope, there's Mills. Oh my fucking god. This is nuts. Unbelievable. Fucking great. Oh. Double pump handle. Oh no. Yeah, that, that has to be the end of that. Jesus Christ. Oh, what a war. Good Lord, man. The people are on their feet. I'm on 
Now I don't know which match is my favorite of the night, that four-way or this one. I think you should wait for the end of the show. <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot more happening here. This almost parallel fairy tale story of this homecoming for Aussie Open. Okay. It's got that perfect Hollywood style ending, hasn't it? Put a pause wow. on this for a second. Let's let's before we get into the next match, let's take a minute and let's you know let's really appreciate what the fuck we have just seen throughout this entire show so far because wow just wow and i'm afraid to keep hitting the gas because <laughs> i'm old and i need i need a little bit of a break for just a moment jesus christ john this is the 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 scene in the uk brother for fuck's sakes I, the pacing is ridiculous. I and it's oh wow. I I think that that and here's the thing. Like this is what I keep drawing back to. Like guys like Oku and I know that uh, Leon Slater has just signed with TNA not too long ago, uh, but. Th these guys are so young. And if the this buried, is the yeah. future of the scene in the UK, dude. And you have to think, too. Like, we're over here in the States. We haven't even seen half of it yet. Not even a quarter of it have we been able to physically... Jesus Christ. I, they're in good shape. They're in good shape. We're going to get into it. This is uh, coming to us uh, off of Michael Oku's uh, YouTube page. Uh, it is Oku taking on Buffalo Soldier. I, I don't know a whole lot about Buffalo Soldier, but we have seen some, some great guys so far. Uh, I have not been scene. unimpressed with any match on the show so far. So, All right, let's get started in three, two, one, play. Oh shit! Thought you'd like that. We got that fans on the ring apron feel. I love this shit. <laughs> they tried to take him down, but it, Oku's like, no, no, no. This is younger Oku. I can tell. Oh, duck under. Oh, but gets him in the guts. Single leg. Oh. Kicks him off. Double drop kick attempt. Nip up. Side so headlock here by Buffalo Soldier. Soldier seems real pleased with himself there. I don't know if he slipped there. No, I don't think he did. I think he tried to Spider-Man land. Over the top for crossbody, though, and does land on the floor there. European uppercut. European. Soldier sizing him up, springboards but misses. I like that direction change that Oku uses. Yeah, I, I we've seen it uh, 
with uh, Desiree. Most Harris. of the matches, yeah. His was Desiree's was the best for me. I, I thought that that was tremendous. But then you guys saw like, like the double pivot. Uh, it's just great footwork. And Oku has that as well. Big knee in the gut there. Snap suplex. Yokes him over the suplex. Tries to splay the arm and get the leverage, but only a one. Oh. It's caught in the midsection, being cheeky. Nice backbreaker, inverted. Kick out. <laughs> He's got time to jaw at the fans, that's always fun. Goes right out after Soldier, though. Oh. Using your environment. I'm here for it. Really dark back there. Fans chanting for off the bar. Hard for the dab. Is that what the kids call it? Is that what that was? No, I don't think so. I don't know if maybe it was supposed to be, but. <laughs> oh, okay, he broke the count. Like he just darted off the screen for a second. I was like, where the hell? Oh, yeah, yeah, you count. You got your oh! the bar spot. For it, they got it. Okay, going up top. Man, I'm kind of getting into this. Got this frog splash. Two count only. Looking at the ref, like, why? Why? A three, it was three. He was about to get soldier. it. Superman punch. Mm. Oh, spinning leg. Oh! Leg. He was way in the air for that. Got him with a second one. Drop kick right to the spine, sends him into the ropes. Oku eats that six one nine. Springboard Superman punch. Still just a two. Buffalo Soldier claiming that he's out of breath. Oku not as 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 longevity in the ring, maybe. But I know after the last match we saw, I can't buy that for a second. 
shoves him off. Corkscrew splash. Muscled him up. Oh. Uh oh. Get him rolled over. Nope. He nope. Gave too much time. Axe kick. Hmm. I'm seeing a theme here that Oku does not get a lot of offense, but the moves that he gets and the things that he does around them are very good. Storytelling, brother. Psychology, you know? Usually he'd be the smaller guy. He's I'm leaving a lot open in these pins. Yeah, I'm, well, I'm wondering why Buffalo uh, Soldier is not being a little bit more uh, quicker in, in what he's doing. He's, just, oh. he's, he's, he's a little slow getting into these covers. <clears throat> There we go. Uh oh. Sit on it. You're not down yet. Sit. He got to the ropes. He did, he did. Rest counting for the break. Buffalo Soldier begging off, but a thigh kick here. Oh, and another. Yep, he's just trying to get him back into the Those are just love throat. taps. We've, yeah, those are just love taps. We saw him kick Davis in the last match like he was trying to knock his leg flat out of socket. The attack is on Stomping here, down on that hip. Oh, nice sell by Oak. Jeez. He's planted right Just there. rolls all the way to the outside. Smart. Where do you go? Yeah, that may have bought him some time there. Definitely made Soldier come to him. Bounces him off the apron on the way through. Look at that. Foot of the ropes. Great ring knowledge. Presence, awareness, the whole nine. He's got it in spades. Who drives him face first but gets butted out? Oh, gets him with that. Oh! Got him with a stack. Does get the pin here. In the counter roll. What a win. 
That was hard fought by Oku. That was. He pulled it out in the bottom of the ninth there. He took a lot of damage in that match and still managed to counter into that pin. Got a handshake. At least there's that. Right. Mr. Cable. Mm-hmm. I think it's time to, to punch it up a notch. We've already punched it up several notches. I think I had I, to add a notch for that well, for that four way. I think you're gonna need to add another notch to it because uh, now we're gonna see uh, this is courtesy of Rev Pro Michael Oku taking on the bastard Pac. Uh, here we go in three, two, one, play. We all know how much this means. He's coming straight he's into a lockup here. Revolution Pro Wrestling Ring, and now he's wrestling against one of his heroes. To wrestle his way out of this one. Some and chaining he so here to start off. He's got the hammerlock now applied on Pat. Nice standing switch into the side headlock. Oku pushes off. Oh, he got caught. Oh, no. Oh, deadlifts him. My goodness. Oh, man. Wow, Pat could have done anything with Michael Oku right there. Instead, he chose to let him leave. Oh. Now he's pulling him into the center of... Oku is going to have to come up with something here. The strength on this man is impressive. We can't hear what Pat's saying to Michael Oku right now. But we can tell by the glare in his stare that he's really not nice at all, can't we? Trying to get in the head of the youngster. As they tie up once more. <laughs> Right back into the side headlock and the takeover. Pac just laying down on him. Really wrenching in on that side headlock. Back to their feet. Oku trying to get leverage on that spine, but I don't know about that. Shoves him off to the ropes, goes over, duck under, pulls the Hurricane Rana. I don't think anyone could have predicted this, let alone Pac himself. Pac charges, and Michael Oku with the Pac's finish. looking at him like, what the and fuck? Pac's and then lures him right over the top Pac rope. Can almost believe the audacity of this young man. What is Oku doing? Oku. You're not wrestling a slouch, mate. You're in there with the world's is, best. Is Michael Oku getting in the head right? of Pac? Ref starting to count here. Where Pac has been, where he's wrestled, and who he has beaten. I hate to break it to you, I'm not sure someone like Michael Oku is going to get into the head of Pac. I mean, he's doing an okay job of it so far. Are you sure, Andy? Because Pac drives him back into the corner. Right it certainly seems like he's been gotten to him, doesn't it? Look, nobody likes to be embarrassed. Michael Oku could well suffer for that right now. Oh my good lord! Oh! Just throws him into the corner. Oku was just turned inside out. Inside out, Andy. Back channeling. He's in an easy. Pog playing for the cameras. Oh, again, launches fucking Oku into the corner like a missile. He thinks he's done. Pax telling referee Chris Roberts, call this match, he's done. But Michael Oku saying no. Oku is not giving up yet. I will not give up. Look at this, Pac 
like just choking him. Choking Hawk him. pushing down on the neck there. Using his four count. Tell him to let go of the hair. Hawk again missiles him right into the turnbuckles. Jesus. I was just standing on his face. What have I missed, Mr. K? Uh, you have missed three or four times now. Pac just missling Oku into the turnbuckles upside down. Oof. Yeah, you, you have watched. You've missed Pac absolutely be a monster and use his power to his advantage. That That's what you missed. He's trying to tell the ref to call the fight. Obviously, Oku can't do it. But Oku keeps getting up. Well, that's something that we've seen all night. He, he will not yeah. quit. Oof. Still in this Rolls through. Second one. Rolls again. We're going for a third. No, he just drops him. And he just dropped him down to the canvas. And look at the look of pleasure on his face. Pack is like a lion. Oh, yeah, he's super happy with himself. He's very pleased. And now he's toying with him. <laughs> Hits the ropes. Oh, oh, up. oh. with Pac with a big elbow, just that rock. Pac can't even believe he's still fighting. Oh, oh. oh. that was on the money. Yeah, that standing back kick struck right in the mouth. Slides right in, gets both of the arms locked. The trouble is not the word for it. I think we've seen him do this before with those long ass legs. He gets to the rope. Pac is definitely using his count though. That shoulder seems to be a recurring theme. He's in the ring with someone who's at the very top of his game. Hawk shoves him to the oh. outside, bounces him right off the fucking apron. Jesus. Mm. Right into the pole. I'll do what I want, he says. Yeah, who's going to stop him, right? Uh, uh, right now, it's not Oku, I'll tell you that. Oku's in a lot of trouble, a lot of trouble, Andy. Come on, no! Oh, shit. Oh, head first. Bounces him off the wall. See that imprint on the... Uh, he is busy beating the shit out of Michael Oku. That's what he's doing. He is taking a beating right now. Sure the OGMO is just looking for that opportunity. Oh, uh, right now he's looking for consciousness. <laughs> the one thing I have learned is you do not count out Oku. I mean, no, I wouldn't either, but he's got a hell of a road here. He's got to get back to the ring. Or maybe he calls it a night and goes home. I, I, this is a brutal beating. He will not quit. That is ingrained. That's exactly the way I'd call it. I respect that. I do. Michael Oku has found himself back in the ring with the will to continue fighting on. And the crowd here are willing him on. 
The best they can. Just waiting up top. Just, oh God. Oh! And look at that for a cover, but the foot under the bottom rope. And now he's getting in the face of Chris Roberts for just doing his job. The cover again, hook of a leg, and Michael Oku kicks out. He was very upset about that foot on the rope. This is starting to frustrate him. It's all part of the strategy. It's all part of the strategy. I, I think the strategy has a flaw in it. He has to take a shit ton of beating before he gets to the part where it's strategy. If Pac is not trying to win right now, or he'd be trying to pin him. No, I think he's just trying to punish him. For being insolent. I think he was inviting Michael Oku to get into a striking battle with him. Headbutt to the gut. Big right hand. Knife edge chop. Oh. Oh! This has been an it assault. It was a mistake. He's just taunting him at this point. He's like, dude, just die already. This is where Pac said he's most dangerous, Andy. Michael Oku probably could be any more vulnerable right now. Pack all the way up. Oku fighting with those big right hands in the midsection. Those open hand slaps. I'm not sure a great deal of effect Pack through to his feet, but watch out. What a move. Somersault. Big drop kick by Oku. The one that mattered. He got the one that mattered. And Pac wisely failing to the outside. Even Pac can't do anything about it right this second. He wasn't expecting that, was he? Oku, Andy, relying on those ropes to stay up. Not sure what he's got coming up, but he's got something uh -oh. in mind. No way! Oh my! He hit it. He, oh. he didn't get Come all of on, it. Come on, dude. This is like the will to live. This is survival instinct at its finest. There's that wall you introduced me to. Here, have it a couple times. I'm giving it right back. I love it. He's feeling it, Andy. And who would have predicted this five minutes ago? Certainly not me, Andy. It looks like Oku wants to take a count out win. A win's a win, Andy. A win is a win is a win, as you like to say. Right? Oku's going to take this. I don't think Pac's going to make the take count, Andy. I don't know if he is either. Oh, shit. He's back in the ring. Oh, this is Michael Oku's worst nightmare, Andy. Oh, he connects a big dropping pack. Pack could be out on his feet here. Oku, for a second time in a big drop kick. Pack Two drop kicks. For the first time in this contest. Oku charges. He is stumbling. Three drop kicks. Down. This is your moment, young man. Make Finally it brings Pac to the mat. Can he capitalize? He's going to have to. I think he's thinking Springboard Moonsault. Yep. Oh, don't tell me, Andy. Oh, Connects. Mm. Lands that solid. Just a two. I thought that was going to have to be it. 
for Michael Oku's sake more than anyone else. This could be the most vulnerable we have seen packed since his return here to Revolution Pro. Without a doubt, there's memories of his match with Will Ospreay here, isn't there? And Michael Oku now is looking for that half crab and Pac oh. has no part of his side. Oh, no. Watch out, Oku. Oh, look at him. Oh, another delicious. and another. Nasty from Pac. Pack just launching those boots. Michael Oku needs to keep his head in this contest, doesn't he? And he will. Oh, he was looking for that. Satellite DDT. No, he went for that DDT, but that is not about to happen. Oh, my goodness. Oh. All the life sucked out of Michael Oku's body right there. He threw him a good five feet. That's one way to stop him, Eddie. I don't think Pack. This is different from Pack, Andy. Three. Oh, he hit. Tannex, hook of the leg. It is Omo. Oku kicked out of perhaps the most picture perfect Damn. splash I've ever seen in my right? life, Andy. I can't see, Andy, how much more Michael Oku has left. That was almost okay, a complete one more time. instinct. I've been screaming he's functioning on instinct for a while now. Because he's definitely not very coherent. Final stage of this contest. Well, we know what gonna, yeah, he's be looking for that black arrow, isn't he? As there's a hush come across the crowd here, live at the London cockpit. Taking a lot of time on the outside. The dream ending, but I don't think they're going to get it. Get the knees. Michael Oku rolling out the way. Smart by Oku to roll away. I mean, 100% make as much distance as you can, but Pac isn't just stalking him. Michael Oku may have prolonged his life in this contest. Not by long, Andy. It's Pac again, handful of hair. Oh, oh. forearm strike. Oof. There's a second. And Oku unloading. Oh, but Pac cuts him off again. Oof. Those feet by Pac are just deadly. Oh, big super kick here. Oh, answered. Oh, but Pac answers. That knee strike. And both men are just flat the fuck out. It is going to seize a moment. It has to be this one. Both men are down. We have to be looking at this contest, Andy, as the first man to his Yeah, they're both just laid out on the... Just Maybe done. Maybe not a decisive win, but the victory, nonetheless, no. is absolutely sweltering hot in this building. Both men are fighting to absolute exhaustion. And uh, this one could be over by a, a double count out here. Both men could be down. This one could be a draw right now. This referee, Chris Roberts, is on six. Both Pac and Oku are stirring. Who's going to be back to their feet first? I think it's safe to say this match is going to continue. And it's, mate, it's a dead heat. Both Andy. are up at the nine. Both back to their feet oh. at the same time. But it's Oku who strikes first. I don't think there's much behind it, though. He may have striked first, but that doesn't always mean everything. But Oku still rebounding, still fighting. He's finding those shots there. He eats that elbow. Like Pox is trying to figure out a way to put this down. I think he thinks it should have already been over. Oh, it's a reversal. Oof. And Pac again. Pac oh, gets reversed. Is he going to hit it now? Yes, he is. Such oh, a gets the DDT finally. His body's doing convulsions in the middle of the ring. There's only 10 minutes left in this contest. There's only 10 minutes left in this contest. And Michael Oku hits a big tornado DDT. From the middle. Jesus. And Pac again in all kinds of trouble. And Michael Oku from the top. Oh! Got it all the way across. Yes. Oh no! Just a two. What's he got to do to put Pack away? 
Where is this coming from? For Michael Oku, he took the beating of a lifetime. Yeah, Oku is reaching deep right now. This boy has spirit. This boy has guts. There's no response. Has everything to make it huge in the professional wrestling business. And this here, lad, I think could be what we like to call his coming out party. And Oku back to his feet, and he's beckoning Pack up. Michael Oku, this young man is fired up. He's feeling the energy of the crowd. He's beckoning the crowd to come on this journey with him. And all those years of hard work, it all comes down to now. As he's looking to lock in the half crab, can he turn around the big body of Pack? Yes, he can. Try it. There he goes. Sit in. There he is. All the way down. He lets up on the hold, though. That's definitely not what he wanted. Sit in. Pulls him back to the middle. Desperation found that bottom row. This is Eddie Wears. Michael Oku is going to need to capitalize on this amazing advantage, this amazing situation he's found himself in. He's delivered two huge DDs. He's won absolutely the biggest frog smash I've potentially seen in my life, as well as following up and injuring the leg using that half crab. And let this me say right now, there's been absolutely no luck about the Ooh. position that Michael Oku finds himself in. Oh, hang on. I had to grab something easy. He's just though. risen and connects to the side of her head. There's a hush. A quick nacho. That's they pop. really believed, didn't they, for that split second? They believed that the said you got nachos coming. Possible. No, man, I just ate those. Momentum had switched. Oh, you ate them? Mm -hmm. But right now, not the last ten minutes. I'm sitting over scarfing on nachos. Why do you think I've been quiet? And I mean nowhere to go. Michael could be in all kinds of trouble right now. Look at this. Oh no! Oh no! Oku nearly slipped off that rope and pack. Yeah, that whole thing almost went real bad, no, no, no. real fast. Oh my goodness! Oof. Andy, that is the very definition of a huge superplex. Michael Oku's body Jeez. just bounced off the canvas. And Pat just drapes his body across Oku's, and Oku again kicks out. Does again, not give up yet. Oku it. is still in the fight. I believe it, Andy. I don't think I can believe it. I don't think you can believe it. I Everyone thought that was over. He didn't even hook a leg on that. No, he just laid over him. Tonight here at Revolution Pro Wrestling, he really has cemented his position, at least in my opinion, that he deserves that place on the Revolution Pro Wrestling full-time roster. Oh. My goodness, Michael Oku rocked. I'm surprised Oku hasn't died yet. Chris Roberts wisely check it on Oku, see if he can even move. He's got that ear of Oku. What else can Pac do here? Oh, he's got onto the hair. I mean, drop him for another three suplexes and call it a day. Oku's just stumbling right now. I just think Michael Oku's body, as much as mentally he wants this, his body's giving out on him right now, isn't it? You can see it in his eyes and you can see it in his body language. Oh, he swings, is... misses, connects oh. with the clothesline and still... Oh, Pac just like bounces off of him with the clothesline. Oh, oh, shit. Oh! This has to be it. Inside oh. out he goes. Still just a two. What the fuck? Pac is on fire right now. He is incensed that Oku has lasted this long. Locks the arm. Locks the other arm. I think Oku's out. I do too. I don't know if he can hang on here. I think he's going to pass 
Oh shit, shut me up. My goodness, my god, Michael Oku fighting! With every ounce of energy in his body, Michael Oku fighting! Gah! He is just wrenching the shit out of him. Chris Roberts in perfect position. Can he get there again? Just a toe. Jesus. The tip of the toe reached the ropes. And there's only four minutes left in this contest. Park doesn't know what to do about this. Can Michael Oku survive this onslaught from Pack? And can Michael Oku go one step further? And this is Oku digging in? down deep. Jesus. With every passing minute, Andy, I think that hope of a Michael Oku. Yeah, pa, you're running out of time, boss. You need to just do the damage and put it away. He's flat and he's back in the center of the ring, and Pack is climbing to the place that he calls home the top rope. What? He's going to look for that black arrow, isn't he? Pack now from the top. Four down. Oh, he missed. He oh! Come on, Oku. Come on now. Oku pulls the pads down. There's a knee. Gets that knee. Cradles. Oh. No. Jesus. It's moments like this we live our entire wrestling lives for. Michael Oku, Pack, they're leaving it all in the ring here live at a sold out London cockpit. And Andy, who's going to come out on top? Oku connects. So far, Andy, I think I've written Oku off three or four times. I don't know who's going to come out on top here tonight. Yeah, I've written him off most of the match. And yet he surprises the shit out of me. Oh, God! As Pac now hoists up Oku. Pile driver. Tombstone. Oh. And Pac now. He takes himself to the top. No, just a regular one, Dubois. Oh. Oh. That is it. That is the end of the fucking show for Oku right there. He took it down. Damn. Oh my God. What, what a hard fucking victory for Pac. I don't think he expected to fight that much. I think it's safe to say, Andy Boy Simmons, that a star has been born tonight in Michael Oku. And if there was any doubt in anyone's mind, he just took arguably the best wrestler in the world to his absolute limit. Fucking right he did. And I think it's safe to say that we have just witnessed Ooh. the greatest main event. Go ahead, put a pause on that one. John, have we had fun tonight? Yeah. Yeah, guys in the chat, have we had a good time tonight? You enjoyed the the show of Michael Oku? Um, oh, absolutely. Before we head into uh, to our main event of this program, we will be spotlighting uh, Leon Slater next week, who's also UK-based. Uh, if you aren't familiar with him, uh, get ready, because uh, I would put Slater and Oku on the same level as far as talent and ability. Uh, they they, they have out. fought each other. We could watch it. I'm just saying. I mean, they fought each other five days ago, uh, and if it is available, we will be watching it as our main event they, next week. They, uh, they fought and, each other a year ago too, at over the uh, top. Yep, I know, I know. I know. I've seen <laughs> that one. I, that's I, I've seen it, so I can't watch it on this show. We can we can try it out on a on another one if we need to. Um, let me. Oh, wait. 
where's uh where's my next match oh woo woo oh no yeah Paige didn't 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 set it all up so give me two seconds guys and let me fix this Paige must fix yeah we got a Paige must fix moment as that seems to be in every uh, in every show situation uh, let me come here look at my smiling face <laughs> and let me come here bring this over here okay John let me come back over here there we go uh, speedball Mike Bailey we are big fans so oh, I like me some Bailey uh, well then you're gonna love this it's uh, it's Oku and Bailey uh, it should be phenomenal uh, let's get started in three. You guys buckle up. This is going to be super fast paced. Three, two, one, play. All right, and before this shit gets going crazy, I'm going to get more coffee. I'll be right back. Okay. You know what? I'm going to let them just sit and enjoy. Oh, wait. Let's go. We're jump started here. Brain Buster off for it. From the challenger, and this is exactly why Michael Oku's an underdog. The match is only like five seconds in, bro. Calm down. <laughs> Oku is at his best when he is the underdog. And look at this, he's coming back swinging. It's what makes him turn up. Absolutely. Oh man, the trading forms. Yeah, you better go or you won't be. Trading these shots here. This is. There is nothing wrong. With being the underdog, it means that every time you go out there, you've got incentive to prove everybody wrong. Yeah, you remain hungry, don't you? Exactly. No complacency. Oh, maybe there was a bit mm. of complacency there. They say if you Back heel trip. Up, harder, Bailey off the ropes. Up. Head scissor. These two are gonna go, guys. Get ready. I don't even know if I can call all this. This has just been such a tremendous show tonight. We're gonna follow it up with a solid one next week, and the hits will just keep on coming. Bailey back in there. Up. Oh. And look at that. Wow, nice. Almost monkey flip without use of the arms there from Speedball Mike Bailey. Sidesteps Oku. Watch out. Speedball Mike Bailey. Oh. The sky. Michael Oku did Bailey it with this moonsault the out to the floor. Speedball just dove out and nailed it. Trademark Speedball Mike Bailey. No one does that dive better than him. Makes it look Oof. easy. I don't think he's holding his hand because he's going to shake oh. it again. Oh. And these two now. Why are they coming up here? This is uh, again. Oh, we got them going up the ramp. Here we go. Oh, yeah, bro. All right. Now that you're back on your stuff, whatever. He doesn't want to use it for that. He wants to use it for a one up, doesn't he? He's, he's <sighs> giving everyone a bit of a bad view. Oh. PK! Mmm. Wow, if people play for England, no way. No way. Not right to the now. knees. Oh! No! I'm going for that grab. Here he goes. You can do enough damage, though. And he's done a hell of a lot of damage. You see the way those knees just driven down into that steel deck ramp. And that was all I mean, Bailey did that on his own. And Michael Oku just so happened to have the presence of mind to capitalize and connect with that half crap. And if he can do that same thing again, but in the middle of the ring, this contest is over and we'll be saying, and still. Oku catching his breath from the early, uh, early attack from Mike Bailey. And Mike Bailey, obviously those, those double knees, he uses them 
for so many different situations in matches. This could he does. He can lost those knees from everywhere. Michael Oku recognizes the trouble Speedball's in. Speedball also Speedball, recognizes yeah, exactly. that trouble and reaches to the bottom row. And again, kicking Oku away. He's favoring that leg now. You take away that leg, you take away his kicks. But Speedball said, I'll kick with the other leg. But you kick with the other leg, it's hard to face with that. Yeah, oh, it's not like one of his feet is, is not effective. No, wow. no they definitely are. Oh! Did and you Mike see Bailey, the way? Mike Bailey going to take a second. Bailey with that big Mike kick Bailey. right in the chest. Bailey has probably the most dangerous feet in the business. Undisputed British Cruiserweight Champion neck first down to the canvas. Oh, well, Mike Bailey, no messing around now. Mm. Bailey's chops are also extraordinarily ridiculous. Of speedball Mike Bailey, he uses his feet, his knees for so much of what he does. Chop, snap, mare, kick right to the spine. So there you go. There it is. That knee is not doing well. And again, Speedball Mike Bailey, he does not care if he has to ruffle some feathers. Redshaw looks impressed because again, Bailey is impressive. From the sand, they're split. Straight down the middle. And I got to say, this whole night, one thing I've noticed about Oku is that that man has heart. Like, he does not give up fighting. He's going to fire up Michael Oku to wake him up. And you saw when Michael Oku um, came back to, in front of fans for the first time, the tears streaming down his cheeks. That's how much these fans mean to him. That's oh, Bailey runs into that elbow. That means to him. And now Michael Oku going to need all the help he can get as he's looking to step into wow. a hurricane run. Tries for a hurricane run, but gets caught. Oh, oh fuck. He just powerbombed him into his knees. Does that have a name? But you know it's sore. I tell you what, but he did it onto the, it's onto the top part of his knees, which... Yeah. Again, it's he still landed shit. Jar emotion, though. So. Yeah. Oh. Now he manages to follow Again, up. Bailey's feet of fury he just railing in here. No. Oku makes him miss the corkscrew. And look at that for some serious, serious hang time. Yeah, the cruiserweight championship is on the line. I'm sure Francesco Akira will be watching this contest closely. John, I heard you uh, talk about the heart that Oku displays. I think that is just his, one of his diehard attributes that he has, and he has developed it so well. Uh, it's 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 really incredible to see. Well, they said early in this match that Oku is always at his best when he's fighting from the underdog spot, and I. I think that's true. Yes. I think when oof DDT by Oku here goes for the cover, just a two count. I think that when when Oku is getting the shit beat out of him, he is selling well and he's doing he's in his element. Absolutely, the lion salt with a twist straight to the top, and Oku. Well, people moved out the way. Oku lands on his feet as Bailey gets out of the way. Bailey tries to come over, but no. Goes right to the outside and then lands the stairs. I don't think that was a great landing either. Bailey is having a rough night. Yeah, he's he's. Oh. Yeah, his leg and now his elbow. He is not doing great. Speedball, though, noticing. He knows he needs to stay on top. He's not going to win the title with Oku on the outside. Goading Oku back in the ring. 
absolutely is an Oku. But he leads him in to win. The man's not got I, the words I quit in his vocabulary. Oh, I think we know what's coming Oof. here, John. The only reason he was defeated Andy, by Osprey was referee stoppage. <coughs> we're on the eight right now. We know ex I know. Yeah. Oh. yeah, this is that double knees, but if Oku moves. Oh! Yeah, he does it again. It. Dude. Place ball slide right into the face, sends Bailey to the floor. Bailey is in trouble. Oh. Gets that over the top backwards plancha. We've seen Bailey use that too. Yes, we have. Oh, Bailey. Got up. Sunset. Uh uh. Sunset oh. flip off the top. And Bailey rolled. Oh. oh, that penalty kick. Oh, he got the knees up again, but that looked like it hurt him too. But Michael Oku, as he's done in the past, time and time both again. He, grits his he just gets he up whether he's hurting or not. He to the second, it's that heart, man. He, will, he has got Take this, this, in, this will to win. This it's that competitive nature. Oh, Bailey answered, but that oh, hurt into him the knees. too. Yeah, Bailey is not having a good knee night, dude. He is just wasting his legs right now. But if Francesco Akira wasn't such a competitor, and I know in his nature he'd want either man at a hundred percent, he'd be licking his lips right now, looking at the way this contest is going. Oh, anyone that says they won't take a side oh, advantage, dude, right was, this is what I would have done. Any small advantage anyone can take going into it was the danger, and Bailey knew that going it. into that. He had already tried it out on the ramp so and failed. Way. He knew damn well that Oku would move. Now we're about to trade elbows right here in the middle of the ring. Yep. He's fallen into that trap. And this is, if you ask me, this is a mistake. And like I've said it before, Oku <coughs> isn't the hardest hitter, but he's so precise with his strikes. I'm talking he's a hard kicker. But when we're talking yeah, dude, you hit somebody in the same spot ten times, times it doesn't matter. That, that wears them out. Precision and speed. Oh, Oku's got that knee. See that Ooh. Straight to the side mm. of the jaw. The thing is, speedball ends up on the back foot. He will just kick him. He will kick him as hard as he can. Well, that's one of the things, isn't it? Oh, well, you maybe might not. not. Be able to, oh, like I said, not. Nope, the that leg is giving. With his good leg, he has to base off the injured leg. And that's going to put him in a compromised situation doing just that. And perhaps, perhaps that's why he's favoring those forearm strikes. And just just dropped him. I didn't expect legs. Bailey to get rocked and dropped with a forearm he, like he, that. It, it wasn't the forearm that dropped him. His leg gave out. He's really not doing well with that leg. Yo, yeah, dude. If I, I were Oku, thigh kicks. Fuck those elbows. I'd be tearing that leg to pieces Oof. <laughs> yeah we've seen Bailey's chops before those are those are nasty is he, is he falling asleep he might be out no he's, not, he's still in this contest barely I think the only reason he lifted his arm there was Oscar Hardy was telling him we've also seen Bailey use this spot as a way to sucker his opponents in knows he had that contest against oh Hardy. sure he's gonna sucker him He's going to say he's going to chop him and then start kicking the fuck out of him. Oh, he got caught. Yep. Yeah. But he Super caught him. No! Oh! Right in the chin. Oh. Hello, kick. Oof. Oh, look out. Oh. Bailey, tornado coming in right behind him. Nasty. No, Oku goes off the back. Oh, oh. gets that knee off the side. Nasty. Oh, oh, God, damn. Oh, 
Off the top. Sheer explosiveness right now. So, so close. Oh. That last knee, that one went right through his jaw. <laughs> Double leg drop kick right in the center of the ring. Bailey thought that was a good idea. Oh! No! Finally gets those double knees. Goes back for the Flamingo Driver. Oh! Oh, just a two! Only a two! Holy hell, what a match. Lifts him up to the top. And so many times you see men in the you know, position. honestly, I expected this match to be higher paced than this. Ah. He says, hey, I'm going to go even bigger. He takes it to the top rope. And Speedball Mike Bailey is one high risk. Oh, oh God. God. Oh. oh. Pulls his legs right out from under his ass. And can Oku capitalize? Oh, nice. Froggy cross body. A froggy crossbody, all right. Oh, oh shades of Connor oh. Mills right there. Oh, yeah, he Lord. definitely picked that up from his tag partner. Leave, leave the good name of Zeus out of this. <laughs> no, he's saying he can count faster than that. Oh, I know. Uh oh. Now we play. I don't think Bailey's going to let him just get in like that. He's not sat in. He's got no leverage. Yep. Yeah. Oh, nice. He let Bailey get out of that. We've seen him sit in those so deep. Oh. Tope Suicida. Through the top and middle. Look at Bailey rolling. Bailey rolls all, all the way, way through. Perfect. Yep. Gee, <laughs> you, owe me a kiss. you see Oku just fucking come on. Watch out. I again. Oku gets him a second time. And does it again. Suicida right to the gates. Throw speedball back into the ring. Michael Oku wants to win this. Oku rolling. Uh sorry. No question marks. Bailey rolling into the corner. Bailey rolls far away, yeah. He's going to do it in emphatic fashion because he connects with a huge drop kick and finds himself on the outside of the ring looking out to the crowd. Oku's wasting a little time here. Yeah, with an opponent like Bailey, you do not waste time. Obviously looking for that frog splash. No such luck yet. Is this the moment? It is! And Michael Oku connects! And gets on the cover and he's gets still that smash, no. sits in on the cover, but just a two. It seems like this is what we normally say about the champion, but now we're saying about the challenger. Oh, he's he's looking looking at at Steps over. Oh, hang on, he's he's the down. Oh, he's there it is. Sat. Now he's and sitting in. Look at Spiebel's in agony. He's going to have to tap out or risk serious injury right here. Uh, no, he's got to get to a rope or die trying. Oh, man, he is in a bad way. This is how much the undisputed British Cruiserweight Championship means to both men. A speedball. Just dragging himself inch by inch. Oh. That Oku. took a lot out of Bailey to get to the ropes. Oku can't believe it. Look at his face, man. He looked back at the referee for a split second, like what? Absolutely. He needs to dig deep. He's looking for it. Uh-oh. Nope. Bailey was waiting on it. Two count. Oh. Nope. 
Robin and back on top again. He's going to look for another Flamingo driver, I think. Oh, no, he's not. Yeah, that, oh, no, he's going up with him. Whatever he's got I think he's going for a superplex here. It has some evil, evil intent behind it. I tell you that for nothing. Superplex by the looks of it. Oh, look, he's looking... For Almost looking for a fisherman suit. No, 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 no! Oh, yeah, oh, fisherman. Oh, my God. Oh, God. He almost oh. over-rotated. And still just a two. Bailey's not wasting shit now. He's just going up. But Oku's up. Double knee. Was going for it, but Oku... Oh. This is it. If he could sit down on him. No, nope, he's got too close. Oh. Pulls him back. Oh. Oh, yeah. For fuck's sake. Oh. Wow. I thought he was going to rip his fucking leg off. The master of the single leg. Jesus. And there's Mills. That was as physical as physical comes. Both men put the put it all on the line. What a battle. It was a resource. What a show. Yeah, that was a hell of a fight. And dare I say the true grit. I still think my match of the night is the tag match. Or the four way. I don't I'm not sure. I continue. I'm not mad at either of those selections. That four-way was brutal, and that tag match was absolutely insane. I definitely want to look into that Davis dude. And the Callum Newman. Good, good lord. So much happening. So much talent. At the very, very end there, after he picked up the victory, the people stood. And Oku looked at the people, and he was like, you damn well stand up. I've just proven my point, and I tell you what. Right? I Listen to that commentator. He's doing his job. Right? It's a huge point. But that passion, that determination, that emotion, you could see it at the end. It's like a frustration. Bailey's going to want an ice bath on that leg. <laughs> as anything more than an underdog. It came out. I tell you what, the best wrestlers in the world are here in Revolution Pro Wrestling. And you witnessed that fact. First time oh, right man. This has been a night of great matches here for this. Oku has had one fucking banger after another. Dude, I told you that this was going to be a show. Uh, <clears throat> I didn't, I, you know, everything that I picked tonight, I didn't see. I never seen, I never have seen. I just, you know, like we usually do. I'm blown away. Mm -hmm. And I knew how talented he was when we came into this uh, tonight. I am uh, very, very impressed with the matches that we saw tonight, the caliber of talent that we saw tonight. Uh, I want to look deeper into uh, the scene over in the UK. Uh, you know, one of our guys uh, at Fireside Night underscore Devil and Night. He's over in the UK. He and I are going to have a conversation. Uh, I feel like we can we can make some things happen. You never know what'll happen on a live show. We got we got joined by the you know North Wrestling from the UK, uh, who just literally five days ago Oku and Leon Slater hooked it up for their world title. Um, so like you just this is fucking this is what independent wrestling is all about. This is what professional wrestling is all about. I am here for it. Next week we are going to be taking a look at Leon Slater. Uh, but before we get there, John, give me your final thoughts on uh, Michael Oku and what we, uh, you know, what's you, what's your take now that you've formally been introduced. Um, first and foremost, impressive. Oku has got a hell of a bunch of heart in that kid. He has taken some brutal beatings tonight and come through and kept fighting when I thought for sure fight had to be fucking over like just for a little guy to have so much spunk and so much in him to really fight it out 
that kid is tough as nails. 100% absolute bona fide badass. It's, yeah, I cannot, uh, I cannot agree with you more. We've got a lot of things happening on our channels, a lot of moving parts. Uh, we are definitely deep diving independent. So if you're watching this program live here on Twitch or if you're catching it on replay over on uh, YouTube, uh, if you have in, an indie or you know independent guys that we need to be taking a look at, then go down below, click the links, do the things, hit me up, fireside page, DMs are open. Uh, we'll be more than happy to take a look and spotlight Dude. Uh, anyone that we can. Um, Mr. Oku, let me tell you, sir. Welcome to the chat, first and foremost. Second, dude, heart. You have 100% of it. All of it. You got somebody else's heart in your chat, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, but again, you never know what happens on live shows. Uh, Mr. Oku, we are very pleased to have you on, uh, even in our chat. What a, what a showcase we've seen tonight on you, and it is truly an honor to have you here, and we are more than happy to, uh, to look at your stuff and, and be able to say that unequivocally, uh, there's no denying that the, the UK scene is being lit the fuck up, uh, and you are a big piece of that, uh, as, as well mm -hmm. as Leon Slater and several others that are on our list to take a look at. Shout out to you, sir. You keep doing what you're doing, and we're going to keep watching and supporting. And guys, if you're again, if you're watching live or you're checking us out on YouTube, go down below. Give this guy a follow. Share his shit. Get his name out there uh, here in the UK or here in the United States. That's why we're doing this. That's what professional wrestling is all about. Thank you, sir. You keep doing you. We're going to keep watching and we're going to keep supporting. Uh, John. Let's go ahead and, and get out of here for the evening and uh, and tie a bow on this. Well, guys and gals, as you know, we love sharing our passion for the industry with each and every one of you, and we're glad that you could join us tonight. It's been a great show. If you haven't done so already, go down below, click the links, join us in the Discord, get behind that curtain with us so you can see what's going on behind the curtain and get early drops for all the new stuff we've got coming out on the channel. If you haven't done so already, go down below, Put those savage elbows right there on the ding bell so you never miss a beat behind the curtain. We love each and every one of your faces. Ladies and gentlemen, we will see you again next time. What a fucking show. Uh, guys, tomorrow, real quick, we've got our conversation with uh, Riot City Wrestling's Katie Trey dropping over on the YouTube channel. Uh, we will see you again. Uh, well, I'll see you again Saturday. John will see you again Sunday. Have a great one. Uh, and, yeah, that's it. Good night.